Fondren is one of the most popular areas in the city of Jackson. In this video, we're taking it to the streets and giving you a driving tour of Fondren. What's up everybody, Jared here. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams right here in the Jackson, Mississippi metro area. On this channel, we make videos all the time about moving to and living in Jackson, Mississippi. So if you want to see videos showing you around and giving you information about Jackson and all the surrounding areas, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell and you'll get notified when those videos do come out. And if you're somebody who is thinking about actually making a move to the area, well, we get calls from people like you all the time, just about every day, we've got multiple people now reaching out, moving to the area, and we love it. We cannot wait to help you out. So go ahead, uh, reach out, however you gotta do it, call, text, email, DM, it does not matter, just as long as you do it, because we've got your back moving here to the Jackson Metro. Now in this video, we are doing a driving tour of Fondren. The driving tours around the area have been some of the most popular videos that we've done. Uh, we've done a lot of the suburbs here, and we've done videos in Fondren before. We haven't actually taken you to the streets and driven around Fondren. Uh, and so I wanted to do that in this video. I also have gotten some criticism in some of those other videos that it really looks kind of dead. There's nothing really going on. So I went at a busier time this time to get that video for you. So you can see there are people in the city of Jackson. Things are happening here. There is traffic and there's people in some of those areas. And Fondren being a popular area, it does have that. So like always, got the GoPro queued up, ready to go. And so we're gonna be coming into Fondren, kind of from the Flowood direction. We're coming across I-55, uh, just past St. Dominic. So that's where we're gonna start. And then stick around for the end of the video. I'm gonna show you a really cool Fondren neighborhood uh, right before we're done. So all that's coming up. I'm gonna go jump in the truck. Let's go. All right, so we are coming here across I-55 into the Fondren area here. And that is St. Dominic Hospital there, towering over us here. And uh, I am going to skip through some red lights so you'll see a little jump right here. And I will just keep on going. Won't make you sit at these red lights. Uh, but I do have this sped up just a little bit because it takes a little longer to drive than it will take you to look and video. And if you want to stop and see things and slow down some, you can do that. Or you can just pause it and uh, take a look at what you need to as we go. But we're here on Lakeland Drive coming into Fondren. We just passed St. Dominic's and that is going to be the campus of UMMC, that's the University of Mississippi Medical Center there on the left. Uh, right here on the right, you've got the Meridian, which is a new apartment complex there. Uh, a lot of medical professionals uh, obviously are living right there. It's very easy to walk right across the street. In fact, you'll see some of them walking around here. Uh, they probably just came back from lunch. At the time here was about 12.45 driving by. Uh, but the Meridian is really nice. Just check it out if you are uh, going to be in that area. You're looking for somewhere to live, maybe temporary, uh, before you buy something. It's 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 super nice. Uh, but we're coming on into kind of the core of Fondren here. Uh, it used to be the uh, Rainbow Co-op. There is now Fondren Fitness. Uh, you've also got uh, the uh, Cups Coffee Shop right there uh, in that little shopping center, as well as Fondren Public. Uh, which is a neat little bar. They've got a little outdoor uh, game area there too. Uh, but there's a lot of little shopping and uh, local places as well as some chains here. You know, such so as saw uh, PJ's Coffee, which I believe is out of New Orleans. Uh, relatively new there. New Trustmark Bank there on the corner. And now we're coming up Dueling Avenue and there's a ton of stuff here. You've got Brent's Drugs over there on the left. You've got Babalu on the right. Saltines on the right, and then up here coming up, there's a street mural, and uh, right next to that is uh, Dumbo's on Dueling, which has some amazing fried chicken. Uh, had a, actually a rib out there too the other night. Uh, it was a special they had. Unbelievable, it's phenomenal. Definitely go check out Dumbo's on Dueling. Uh, that Capri there is gonna be remade, that, and that little uh, old gas station next to it. That's actually gonna be a uh, uh, Ed's Burger Joint. They've got a place down in Hattiesburg. They're gonna be fixing that up to be a uh, burger joint there in Fondren, so that's going to be uh, really neat when that does get done. I'm turning around here at the Pig and Pint. Uh, if you want some barbecue, really great local spot there. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Had to wait on some traffic and some people walking by and uh, get back on the road here. So now we're going to head south, back through Fondren, kind of through uh, the other main drag. Dueling uh, is, is kind of a main one, and this one is State Street going through here. Uh, so we're going to be going back south on State Street. 
that is that thick Capri theater and that's where you'll have that burger joint coming up soon here you've also got Campbell's bakery you've got barrel house just tons and tons of great food I'm gonna do a fonder and food tour soon uh, walkers there on the left uh, coming up here on the left also you've got Fonder and Corner and this lady probably didn't know she was on camera when she just nonchalantly walked in front of me but that's okay we'll keep going. Uh, Fonder and Corner there that's where Roosters is. Uh, then you got Green Ghost Tacos there on the left. Green Ghost. Green Green Ghost Green, Green Ghost Tacos is, is what it is there. It's on the left. That's a really good place too. Uh, they've got a couple locations in the area. Uh, but we're coming down here to where State Street and Old Canton Road split off from each other. When I first turned there in front of Fonder and Fitness, uh, that is where it is, Old Canton Road. And we'll get back to that in a little bit. Uh, but right now, we're going to head down this way. I uh, wanted to take you around the campus of UMMC. So there it is on the left. A really big hospital there tied to the University of Mississippi. A very good chance if you're looking at moving to the Fondren area, uh, it has something to do with UMMC. So uh, you'll see here, I didn't speed through this red light because I wanted you to see it's a very busy area here. Uh, lots of things going on. If you saw just a minute ago, you had a bunch of people walking across, and it's pretty much always that way uh, during the week. It's really busy right through here. But we'll sit here at the red light for just a few more seconds, and then uh, we will keep going down State Street. Now, I will also mention the stadium for Jackson State University is also over there on the right. That big parking lot also doubles for uh, the parking lot for that stadium there. So that's over on the right. We're going to go ahead and make a lift here just so I can take you down this way before we cut back through uh, to the other side of Fondren. Uh, but we're going to take a lift here because we're going to come up on uh, the Children's Hospital, which is a wing of that UMMC. Um, if I did go straight here, we'd go on down to Bellhaven and, and then on down into downtown Jackson there. Uh, but we are going to turn here. So you see there this Children's Hospital. It used to be Batson's uh, Children's Hospital. I don't think they use the Batson's name anymore. Not sure, but it's not only any the branding. Everybody knows it as Batson's, but uh, Children's Hospital there at UMMC. And uh, I will go on just a little bit farther here so you can see where the VA hospital is. It's uh, right up here on the left. And we're also heading right back to I-55. So uh, if I did just keep going, we'd get back to I-55 and I'd have to go north or south on that. But I'm going to pull a U-turn up here in just a second. And it took me a while to do it. So I'm just going to flip it around for you. You just get to skip it and we'll just go back the other way. So here we are going back uh, the other way. Now we've got, again, UMMC and the Children's Hospital there coming up on the right. I'm going to turn through here and cut through on the back side of that just to give you another quick look there for you medical professionals if you want to see all the way around that I'm gonna cut right through here uh, and give you a look at it it's really neat here how they've redone this uh, this is relatively new the styling there how that looks uh, you know it's just it's definitely different it doesn't really match the rest of the hospital so um, I guess you know if you if you if that bothers you that it doesn't match you may not like it but I think it's a really neat area there and it, it kind of looks cool it differentiates the children's hospital from the rest of the hospital this right here is going to actually cut back through to Lakeland Drive. So you can see tons and tons and tons of parking here. Uh, that's, you know, all the you know, people at the hospital, people working at the hospital, all that. This is where a lot of people are parked. So we'll get on through here. We'll get back up to Lakeland Drive. And then I've got a really neat neighborhood to show you. And that's where we're going to wrap up. And here we are back at Lakeland Drive. Uh, this again, if I turned right, we'd go back across I-55, we'd pass St. Dominic. I'm gonna take you back left again. Uh, so we're gonna pass a few of the same things really quick. So after I get through this red light, I'm gonna uh, speed it up for us so that you don't have to see all the same things again. But I did wanna mention that Meridian again. We're passing it here, it's on the right. We're gonna speed by it this time. Uh, but I'm telling you, it starts around $1,300 for a one bedroom, so it's not super cheap. You can definitely find cheaper options. If you can buy, it's going to be way better. But if you're looking for a temporary place to stay, uh, seriously, check that out. It's, it's super nice. But we're going to keep on going. We're heading back north now on Old Canton Road. 
And uh, we're going to come on past here where we turn. So we turn left there on Dueling earlier. We're going to keep on going and we're going to turn right into a neighborhood up here called Woodland Hills. And uh, the reason I wanted to show you Woodland Hills, and uh, you see we're past all the churches here, but we're going to turn right in here to Woodland Hills. The reason I wanted to go into Woodland Hills is just because it's a very unique neighborhood. It's got some really nice bigger homes. Um, the roads here do need a little work, but they are working on that. You saw they were paving some stuff, so a lot of things are getting improved here in Fondren. Um, but, uh, you know, most of the neighborhood roads are not too bad. It's just, just right there at the beginning. But the, the thing in this neighborhood are the houses. So you see this one right here that's in the middle of the screen there. That one looks like a castle. And it's a huge house. Uh, and it is actually for sale if you're interested. Uh, hit me up. Details. I've got them. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in the description. You can check out the listing. But uh, the houses in here, there's a pretty good variety. So there's that castle looking house. Uh, there's some really classic, uh, you know, more like the Greek Revival kind of looking houses. Uh, there's Tudor style houses. There's really, you know, ultra modern and uh, mid-century modern looking houses in here. Um, you know, and I, of course I came through on trash day, so <laughs> you see all the trash cans out. Um, but there's just some really neat places in here and you are right there next to all those things in Fondren. So all those Fondren restaurants that I had to name off super fast as we drove by, uh, you're close to all those. So you're never going to go hungry living in this neighborhood. And uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's a great neighborhood. It's right close to all that. And it's just, it's really neat. You know, you've got, you've got some variety. It's not all cookie cutter houses like you'll get in the suburbs. So uh, it's just something, I really like this neighborhood. I always kind of drive through here and just see what's new, what's changing. You know, sometimes people will come in and fix up the houses here and you'll get kind of a, a, a new look on some of these things. So check it out. There's a lot of other great neighborhoods in Fondren too. Not just this one, but I just wanted to show you this one before we're done. And we're back there. We made the loop. That's the castle house again there on the left. And uh, that's going to wrap it up. So I'm going to head back to the studio and uh, finish up the video there. All right, y'all. I hope you really enjoyed the driving tour of Fondren. Maybe you got a little better feel of the area. And if you did like it, it'd be cool if you hit that like button because uh, it does help out the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And if there's another area in the Jackson Metro that you would like to see a driving tour of or anything else, uh, put a comment down below and let me know what that area, that city, that suburb, that neighborhood, let me know. Uh, what you want to see and we will make that happen for you here in the future on the living in jackson mississippi channel and the only way you're going to see those videos when they come out is you've got to subscribe click that bell and you'll get notified when they're there and also if you are that person who is thinking about moving here to the jackson mississippi metro area take all this one step further give us a call text email dm us or even break out turn back a call really y'all you know it don't matter how you get in touch with us just as long as you do because we've got your back moving here to the Jackson Metro. Thank y'all for watching this one.